right, so this is just a run of me uh, in Olympus. Uh, they released 180, not 189, but 165 CR gear in the vendor and Themis not Themyscira, but again, Typhon used the Themyscira portal to get there. But yeah, so now everyone has access to 189 CR. They also have Elite gear in there, so that's pretty dope. Uh, you can get the Elite Affinity mods running, but I don't have the Elite gear in this clip. This is just me in regular 165 CR gear. And I'm using Mental because uh, Mental's OP. I'm just playing. I'm using Mental because it was just like the power I was at the time. Because I was using it to farm the solo. Because Mental is capable of stunning ads in the... Not the solo. Why am I so like discombobulated right now? I don't know what's going on. Okay. I was using Mental to farm the duo. Because it can stun all the stuff in there. So I wouldn't take a lot of damage. But then the... Somebody told me that the 165 CR gear was in the vendor, and uh, I went into Typhon's Monster Invasion, which is the outside area for um, this DLC, Amazon Fury Part 3. It's the vendor that will sell this new gear, and I think... I'm not sure if they sell the Elite gear. I thought My thought was you were supposed to craft the Elite gear by getting plans. And I thought that was like how you would get a leaker, or maybe they did say, did they say they did away with something? Like they did away with that. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what what that system is. I'm still not fully grasping this new system. But yeah, again, this is just regular 165 gear. It's not elite. And uh, this raid is actually very simple at 189 CR. You could honestly do it with your eyes closed. You don't have to really pay much attention to anything. Uh, the ad, there's ad waves, there's ads like when you first uh, hit the portal to just get in Olympus, there's ads right there, it's just a bunch of ads, and then uh, the bosses don't have any big mechanics. If I was to say, like, if I was to criticize if any bosses really had real mechanics, I would say Zeus would be the only boss. Uh, um... The first boss kind of has a mechanic where she'll shut off certain areas of the room. And if, you, if you're if you not towards the tank, uh, you might get shut out away from the group. And you'll start getting hit by ballistas, which could kill you if you're away from the group. Which isn't really a problem if you're in reg, but in elite, it, it'll be an issue because you only get a couple deaths. I think uh, just like in normal situations where there's a door in the way, you can probably pick somebody up. If they're on the other side and they die right next to a door, you can probably pick them up in that way. But yeah, that's uh, I would say that's as deep as the mechanics themselves go. Uh, Athena is a very. This is the boss I was talking about. You can see those segments on the floor, those four lines. Uh, those are the indicators where where the gates are going to come up. So you want to be towards the tank in that little almost triangle looking area right there you don't want to be and sometimes the ballistas will shoot you and then pull you they'll either push you i don't know if they push you forward but i know they do pull you back in elite so that's when you want to have your lunge ready so you can lunge the boss but sometimes you might lunge the boss and just die because the boss is doing an aoe attack like she did right there but um yeah that's basically it for this boss you just burn her and the DPS in this raid are actually very good. You're going to see the completion time that's uh, quite short because everyone's doing just about the same DPS. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this boss. She spawned some ads, but the tank was atomic, so they immediately got aggro. So it wasn't, no one had to worry about ads attacking them, but any power can do that. Just if you're a cone, pull power, just face. Uh, the south side of the room and you'll always pull the ads to you so that's all you have to do for that boss now moving on just more ads you know just a piles and piles of ads and at 189 CR they burn they burn really fast but if um you're 175 like you can see their CR is 189 they're 14 CRs ahead of 175 so basically what that means is slow burn that's what it's going to mean you're not going to get the same completion times that this group got because this group is matching the cr of the ads and if the ads are 14 crs ahead of you you're going to hit real soft on them but one thing i have noticed is uh powers like earth or 
or um, sorcery, for whatever reason, pet powers don't scale down as hard as, or as hard as um, might powers and precision powers. So if you're a pet power, you're probably going to do really well in this content at a lower CR. But once everyone starts to catch up, that's when everything else, like all the, even pet powers are top tier. But that's when um, you're probably gonna beat people that are super top tier powers like mental or ice as a pet power early on because for whatever re reason they don't scale down as hard as uh, might powers do so yeah if you're a pet power and you mainly support role try to dps because especially in the duo you'll be able to like give aggro to your pet because your pet will just do more damage than you anyway and you'll notice that like that's why pet powers are awesome for uh content where uh the ads or bosses out gear you because or out cr you because the pets themselves will take aggro simply because they hit more than you and <laughs> they'll uh gain more respect from whatever you're fighting so everything will go after them and that means a lot in the duo because the duo itself is uh even the ads in there are like 189s, I think. I'm pretty sure they are, even the ads in there. So if you're using a cast time power like ice or fire or anything that uses a long, uh, a semi-long cast time, especially if it's range, if you get countered, they'll take out half your health and they counter a lot. So as a pet power, you won't even have to worry about that because your pet will just be doing more damage than you and the bosses will rarely ever focus on you neither will the ads now this boss is hecate uh, very easy boss you could again do with your eyes closed uh at least some reg she doesn't do anything special in reg and that switch in the middle is apparent she has a special attack where uh she calls out some moon phase attack or something and I think when you hit her, she'll store damage and then she'll reflect the damage or something. It's like, it's like a reflect attack, I think. And uh, I think that switch reduces its damage or prevents it. I don't know. I, we ignored that mechanic in both reg and elite. So uh, that guy hit it. Elu hit it this time. But I've done it where people didn't even pay attention to that mechanic. So it's not really something you need to pay attention to. But it is probably tied to a feat. So... If you're feet hunting, you might want to look at that. I personally don't look at the feet list in test server because I don't care. I have like 147 skill points, and that's plenty to DPS, heal, tank, any con any like run of anything that we do. So yeah, um, that was Hecate, very easy boss. Uh, I would say the only challenging boss in this raid is Zeus, and uh, calling him challenging isn't really saying too much because he's not that hard anyway but um yeah i think he's coming up after this set of ads he'll be in the room to the north if i'm not wrong and uh zeus's mechanics are or was i wrong is he not in the room to the north but anyway zeus's mechanics are he has a one shot that he gets a skull on his head targets one person and a uh, lightning shoots out of his hands and if you don't drink a soda to that lightning in elite at least he'll one shot you but in reg i don't think he one shots you in reg i haven't seen anyone die from it but maybe it's just because i haven't been paying too close attention yeah this is zeus right here i personally think zeus looks like santa claus he doesn't look that intimidating but um i'm, I'm not sure i even show it here do uh, i just have the scoreboard up yeah there it is he doesn't look that intimidating to me it's just um I think this is where this DPS asks what power I am, what SP I am. Yeah, very low SP, dude. I just know what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, Zeus has a one-shot where he shoots lightning. He'll t you'll know he's targeting you because it's like the only attack he does where he gets a skull on his head. And you can just avoid that by drinking Hecate's Elixir, which will, you will get on the second boss. But it's not a mechanic you need to worry about in reg. It's a mechanic you need to worry about in elite because it'll 100% kill you in elite. And it does target tanks. So it also the elixir will share cooldowns with your soda. So if you drink it in elite last boss and he targets you, you're dead. There's no way to survive it. 
I still don't know if uh, Consecrated Ground from Celestial will stop his one shot, but um, yeah, for uh, Zeus, all you do is, and he, you go in and his health is already halved because I don't even know why. It's probably It probably has something to do with the storyline, but yeah, his health is halved and we beat it pretty quick. Uh, yeah, this boss is pretty straightforward. He'll also put, like, a dot on you, which is, uh, damage over time. And you have to, like, walk into a pool to cleanse it. And you can't walk into a pool that has lightning on it, or else you'll die. So you have to make sure it's a pool that has no lightning. So the one I'm looking at to the east right there would be a good example. If he puts a dot on you, you'd go there. Um, I don't think there's really any other mechanics to worry about as far as this boss at least in reg in elite he has those two mechanics and then he has a bird that'll follow you around and sometimes you'll turn into a bird and you have to eat an apple or use you have to it gives you like this power where you'll taunt the bird and you have to taunt the bird and then eat the apple in order to transform back into a human uh, zeus in elite has so many mechanics but it's kind of cool it does seem very beatable but um you definitely have to give it some time for people to really master the uh, mechanics. And I think um, that feat right there was to not die to uh, any DOTs at all. So uh, I think that's what that feat was about. Um, yeah. And uh, this person, Elu, d didn't... Like, mental is what it is, and it hits really hard. By the way, Solaris, I think, is hard light in here. That dude's kind of... Uh, I don't even want to start with him, but... um, uh, Yeah, Elu didn't hit as hard in reg, but in elite, he was actually beating me at some points. Simply because, uh, again, like, one, once the ads out CR you, uh, pet powers are just going to do really well. Especially Crystal, because Crystal hits harder than fury so you're gonna get a lot of consistent damage with crystal so uh yeah if you're like earth or something you should definitely be dpsing if you're sorcery you should definitely be dpsing this new content probably uh probably the easiest tunes to gear up would be those tunes but um yeah that is the olympus raid just wanted to do some commentary and uh show you how it goes basically it's a very quick raid at 189 cr i i think i did it one other time and that was at like 180 and it it was still pretty quick so yeah that's it